so today we are going to install the RTR grill on my buddy's car. Yes. So I'm going to show y'all how to remove the bumper, remove the grills, and install the stock grills. Now the first step is going to be pop the hood. You'll want to undo eight, these eight tabs. Right here. So to do that, just take a screwdriver, get it up a little bit. I recommend a trim uh, removal tool. Makes it much easier to pop those out. And then, let me do this little thing. Go ahead and take all those out. Once you remove those clips, you'll just remove the radiator cover. Set that wherever. Then you'll want to remove, there are six uh, eight millimeter bolts that you'll want to go ahead and remove. Next step, there are two, one on each side, seven over 32 uh, bolts. I'm going to remove those. You don't want to forget about those. They're actually hidden under this little uh, gasket right there. And then same thing over here. Now underneath the car, you have a total of 13 seven millimeter bolts. Two right here, and then in these little holes along the edge, you'll wanna go ahead and remove all of those. All right, the next step is gonna be removing, there are one, two, and there's a clamp right up in here. You wanna remove those three tabs just like the ones under the hood get it up enough to where you can slide the trim tool in there and just remove those trim tool makes the removing these a lot easier than just a flathead screwdriver you'll want to pry back the fender well the fender lining you want to go back I would say about halfway up the fender because can you see this screw in there right here there is a screw it's a seven millimeter screw that does need to be removed before you could pop this out that's a lot of thing that that people are doing wrong is they're not removing that screw right there so when they pull the the when they pull on the bumper right here, it's ripping the tabs off. So that's an important step. You want to make sure and remove this bolt. Now once you remove that screw, just take right here on the bumper, pop it out. All right, now we're going to do the other side. Um, one thing that's going to make this very simple is if you turn the wheel all the way to the opposite side so since we're working on the driver side turn the wheel all the way to the passenger side so you have more room to work in here two one thing i want to go ahead and mention because i usually forget is you do have your blinker your driving light and then uh your fog light for the fog light, there's a button on the inside. You'll just push it, undo that harness. I prefer to do that for the uh, driving light as well. Just push the clip, pull the harness off, and then for the blinker, push the button as well. Now, after you remove the three little clips, you unplug your lights. You'll wanna remove the seven millimeter bolt that's uh, holding the bumper to the fender. So we'll just take, Remove that bolt and then just 
lightly pull on the bumper and the tab should pop out. All right, once you have everything undone, I like to pull at the bottom of the bumper first just to make sure everything's loose under there. Then you'll take and you'll pull up where you removed the six eight millimeter bolts. There are little plastic pieces that you gotta pull the bumper up over. better but you can do it by yourself that's how you remove the bumper to reinstall the bumper you just do the same step you do the steps in reverse now when it comes to removing the grills what you'll want to do is this center piece you want to remove this first you'll do that there are one two three four five six clips that you have to undo and i would just recommend start at one side work your way down easiest way i found to do this push down push the part in then push down on the clip lift the part over it now we're going to start with the top grill first you have a series of those little clips all around the grill. All right, so for the bottom grill, we're gonna do the same exact thing we did for the top grill. Just make sure and undo all the clamp, all these little clips. Now that you have both grills removed, we'll go ahead and install, we're gonna do the top one. Just make sure and get the holes lined up with the clips on the bumper. You'll need a little bit of leverage. For the lower grill, we'll just do the same thing. Now on the lower grill, it was a little bit more challenging. It did take two people to get the clips to actually clamp in. Uh, on this one, it's easiest if you just work your way around slowly, doing each clip by itself, rather than trying to do the, all the top and then the bottom. So we started over here at the top, worked our way down and around. Now the last step is the centerpiece that you removed. It is sides, or it is a uh, specific, it has an arrow that says up on it. So you'll just wanna line this up. Hop in the clips. Now, the install of the grill is now done. Now we just have to reinstall the bumper. All right, so installing the bumper, uh, just do the reverse steps of taking it off. Again, it is better if you have two people to, to do this, but it can be done by yourself. You wanna make sure that you get the belly pan, this is a performance pack, get the belly pan to where it is going into the chin spoiler. Once you get it fairly close, just go under and make sure that you get the belly pan completely seated into the chin spoiler before putting any bolts or anything in. Now once you get that seated, you can go ahead get that, get those seated. Same thing on the other side. Now, the first step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put, reattach, uh, reconnect the lights, 
reinstall the seven millimeter bolt into the fenders and then reinstall the, the little tabs or the fasteners. Now to reinstall the fender screw, you'll just pull back the plastic lining. I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect the lights because I do sometimes forget to do that. The buttons to undo the harnesses, then they should just slide back on there. Make sure that they're good and secure. Then I'll take the screw, just find the hole. This should screw in pretty easy by hand for the most part. If it doesn't, uh, make sure that you don't have it in an angle so it doesn't get cross-threaded. But you'll be able to get it started. Make sure it's good and tight. Again, you don't, you don't want to pull too hard because you don't want to rip the, uh, the tabs off. Then you'll just make sure and fasten your, push the fender lining back into place. This piece does need to go behind the uh, part of the chin spoiler. Now once you get your fenders done, or the, uh, the fender screws in, all your lights hooked up and the fasteners back in, I went ahead and reinstalled the six eight millimeter screws on the top of the bumper. Now what we'll do is we'll go underneath the car and reinstall the 13 seven millimeter bolts that go under the car. Also, don't forget to reinstall the seven by 32 bolts in the parts that are hidden by the gasket. Now for these, I'm just going to go ahead and get them started by hand and then I'll go back with my drill and get them tightened down. It's a little bit easier that way, a little bit faster in my opinion. Alright, just double check everything, make sure you don't have any extra parts laying around. Uh, I recommend double checking the lights just to make sure they work, which if you install the harness, they should work. Once that's done, your grill, your grill install as well as removal and reinstall of the bumper is finished. If y'all have any questions, feel free to comment below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and I hope y'all enjoy. Here are some uh, shots of the grill.